hey guys welcome to coding simplified and today we will see a new problem so basically our aim is that we have given three link list and our aim is to check that if there any triplet exists so triplet exists means let's say if you want to find the value 13 so is there any value so one from this link list and any item from this link list and any item from link list so if we sum any one of the items from link list so they should match the 13 so like pick any item from this link list then pick any item from this link list and pick any item from this link list so check if any triplet exists if we pick any one item from the each link list right so like in this case if you see so like we want to find 13 so what are the options so one option can be like if we say this 3 plus 2 which is 5 and plus 8 so this those sum is 13 so our answer should be that whether triplet exists or not so whether basically we will return the true or false right so now let's say if you check if you add this 5 plus 3 which is 8 and 18 plus 8 16 so which is not correct right so whenever we find the 13 we need to return true right so what can be our logic second link list into ascending order and we will sort this third list into descending order right and we will keep the first link list as, as it is and now we will apply the logic of the sorting that first we will increase first we will add the items so one will pick the from node 1 and one data will pick from node 2 and one data will pick from node 3 so we will add now if our number is greater than so we'll decrease so we'll decrease the value so basically we'll increase the we'll increase the descending order so like let's say if this is the case so right now our value to find out 13 now what would happen here it will say 5 plus 7 and plus 12 it is 19 so 19 is greater than 13 it means go in the next of descending one so now go in this at one so now again add the item so now it will add 5 plus 2 7 plus 8 15 so again 15 is greater than 13 so again go in the next iteration now it will check 4 plus 6 plus 5 which is 11 now 11 is less than it means we need to go the next of the ascending one so now it will check 3 so now it will say 5 plus 3 8 plus 4 12 so now 12 is less than 12 is less than 13 so it means we need to go again next item of this descending one but there is no descending one it means now we'll increase the node 1 item so now node 1 will be 2 again we'll proceed the same thing because we'll initialize this with the, within head 1 now it will do the same thing 2 plus 2 4 4 plus 12 16 so 16 is greater than 13 now it will move to next one so now 8 plus 2 plus 2 which is 12 so 12 is less than 13 it means we want to increase this ascending so now 3 so now it will do 3 plus 2 5 plus 8 13 so now our value matches right so in this case we will say that our value matches it means we will return true right so that is how we will check that whether the triplet exists or not so basically we need to ascend we need to uh, we need to sort the second one or any any of the link list into ascending order any one into the descending order and keep other one is the as it is and now apply the logic right so let me show you that how we are doing it so basically here we have the function so first of all i have created the link list three link list so i have the first five two and nine in second link list i have two two three seven and in third i have twelve eight and four so basically i am not applying the sorting manner i have just created that this is the first link list now second link list is uh, the sort one and the third list one is descending one you can easily sort by using the merge sort uh, algorithm right so here i have the second list which is ascending one and third list which is descending one now i am passing in the function is triplet exists for some head one head two head three and the value which i want to search now it will go in the function so first of all i will initialize head two and head three by uh, the head dot node two and node three so basically i will take help later now i'm checking until node 1 is not null and now node 2 is not null and node 3 is not null now first of all add the items of all the items now if value matches and return true if the value is greater than value it means go in the descending order so node 3 equal to node 3 dot next 
if it is great if it is less than item then go in the ascending one so not to equal to not to dot next and now after it if if the node if any node is null means if not to or not three is null then go in the node one so now increase the node one equal to node one dot next and now in slice the node to a node three by head two or head three right and this process will happen until node one is not null so if there is any value which matches so it will return true else it will return false right so let me show you that how it is working by debugging so here it will go here first of all it will initialize the value and for node 1 is not null until node 2 is not null it will check so now s1 is 19 so it will check it is greater so now it will increase the descending one again it will check what is s so s is 15 so again it will go in the descending one now our s is 11 so now it will go in ascending one so it you can see it is going in ascending one now what is the s so s is 12 so again it will go in ascending one now our s is 16 so it will go in descending one now but now there is no value because our uh, node 3 is null it means now our node 1 will increase and it will initialize with the head one again it will check so now what is the s s is 16 so it will go in descending one now what is the s s is 12 so again now it will go in ascending one and now our s is 13 it means our values are matching so now it will return true so basically at the last it will return true right so that is how we can check for any value let's say if you want to check that whether 11 exists or not so simply run the program so it will say yes true let's say if 41 exists or not so run the program and you will see it is false right so that is how we can check that whether any triplet exists in a given linked list or not and what is the complexity so the complexity of sorting the linked list is n log n right because first of all you need to sort the linked list if you don't if you have already sorted linked list then the complexity is big of n square because we are traversing the we are traversing the n for the each node one right so to, so to traverse this we have the n and to traverse this we have big of n so overall we have the n square right so that's it guys for this video if you have any doubts so please write in the comment section or if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you